Hey YouTube, Ben the Bondsman here. Well, I've been having a pretty bad flea problem in the house lately. And uh, I really don't want to bomb my house, flea bomb it. So I've tried a couple different things out. Uh, one being spreading diatomaceous earth all over the house. And it has done nothing but make a mess. Still have fleas like crazy. My whole house is wood floors so carpet powder isn't an option and i'm trying to stay away from the chemicals so i was reading online i'm gonna try this out basically warm water and put dawn dish soap in the warm water try not to mix it up and put it under a warm light Hmm. I don't know if that's fleas in there already or not. Crazy. Well, anyway, the idea behind it is the light will attract the fleas. The warmth will attract the fleas. They'll jump in the water and die. So, I've got this lamp kind of clipped to my table here. So, we'll check it out in the morning and uh, see if that dish is full of fleas. All right. So, it's been up now for almost 12 hours. It's about 10 hours. Let's see what we got. A moth and two fleas. Well, that's a little disappointing. So, all right, I'm going to try and move this into my bedroom where. Um, I'm getting attacked the most by the attack fleas and leave it overnight. Now keep in mind, most of the 12 hours was daytime because I sleep during the day because I work at night. All right, here we go. Set up in the bedroom. <laughs> I knew that tripod would come in handy for something one day. Probably not anything like making videos. Anyway, we'll see how it turns out when I get home from work tonight. Under the bowl. Yeah, you see it? No. Like All right, so I've been at work all evening. Came in to see if my little experiment worked. And check it out. Look at all them fleas in there. And there's still a bunch on the floor around it. I guess they don't feel like they need to get that close to the heater. Maybe they saw the fate of their buddies. <laughs> but wow, that's freaking amazing how well that worked. So now I gotta figure out how to kill all the little fleas around it because I don't have any flea spray or anything. I'll be back, see if I can figure something out. All right, so I just got out my all-purpose cleaner spray and sprayed the bugs around the bowl and uh, looks like it's killing them. I probably should have been better prepared, but I'm, try I'm trying to do this with what I have available to me at the house without having to go to the store and spend money. All right, me and Nick are making homemade sticky tack pads. Look, I already got one. He must have jumped off of me. So we're just basically taking duct tape, 
and gluing it to a piece of cardboard. So here we have it. Here's our sticky pads. Now I'll show you what I'm about to do with these. All right, so here's our setup. And Nick just put this down. <laughs> There's already two fleas in there. And we got our sticky pads around it. We got our Dawn dish soap and water. And we're going to see what it does over the next few hours. Alright, now we're making a second one. A second setup for the living room. And the trap is set. I used my little desk light for this one. Which is actually kind of perfect. <laughs> can uh, control the height on it. You don't have to clamp it to anything. All right, well, let's see how this one does. All right, so I'm on night two now, and I've done my little sticky pad experiment, and a fresh thing of soap water. So here we have it. It's called a bunch of them. The sticky pad part didn't quite do what I thought it would. I mean, caught a few, but uh, when I got home, I wound up taking this lint roller and uh, scooping up, well, there's the one I use, scooping up the dudes that were hanging out in the light, but not in the pan. So... Anyway, now I think I'm going to have to uh, resort to bug bombing the house and uh, one of my good friends told me to get some per, uh, permethrin, I think, permethrin, something like that from the store and mop my floors with it. So that's what I'm going to try next. Anyway, let me go ahead and post this video of this little experiment and I would say it works out pretty good if you want to see if you have a flea problem but probably not for resolving a flea problem they also sell these <clears throat> really miniature versions of this at stores it has a little sticky pad and it's a little dome I think maybe about this big with a light on top here that does the same thing this does and I might get one of those and that way if I start seeing fleas pop up on it I know that I might have a problem starting up kind of as a early warning anyway that's all for now appreciate you watching Ben the Bondsman signing out